Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about one of the interesting features of our purchase module in Odoo 60. So inside the purchase module, we have a feature called the purchase order approval. The concept is very simple. That is, we'll set a minimum amount as a limit. And once you are creating a purchase order and that limit exceeds, only after the manager approving that, you can proceed with the purchase. Let's get into the module and see how this is done. Okay, so now let's open the purchase module and see how it's done. So I'm opening the purchase here. Here's the purchase. And first thing which you have to do is go to the configuration settings. So here I'm going to configuration settings. Okay, now inside the settings under the section orders, you can find the purchase order approval. So I'm enabling it and here you can see a minimum amount which is 5000. So I'm just changing it to uh, 2000 or something. Okay, and now let's save it. Okay, so currently I'm logged in as Michelle admin. So we need to uh, switch users and all uh, to do this. So I've set a minimum amount as a limit. And now, actually Michelle admin is the administrator. So we have to uh, log in as another user who have just a user access inside the purchase module. So for that, I'm going to the settings module here, which is the general settings. I'm opening the settings here and here we have users and companies. So let's open the users there. Okay, so um, for the time being, let's create a user or just simply open any other user. So here we have John Doe. Okay, and make sure under purchase, he has the access which is user access. So I'm putting him as user and I'll set a password for him for us to log in. Okay, so here is John Doe and I'm setting a password. Okay, now let's change it. Now it's all done. Um, it's uh, like it will save automatically. Now I'm going to log out as Michelle admin and log in as John Doe. So here I'm putting his username. And let's provide the password here. So now we are currently logging in as another user, okay, who has the user access over the purchase module. Okay, so we've logged in as John Doe. Now let's go to the purchase module through his profile. So here is the purchase, opening it and let's create a purchase order, I mean RFQ. So clicking on create and here I'm choosing Azure interior and adding a product. So we have to remember the limit I provided was 2000. So we have to make it exceed. Here's the acoustic block screen. I'm choosing the product acoustic block screen. And for the limit to uh, like exceed, I'm putting the quantity. I mean, I'm in increasing the quantity. Okay, confirming it. Let's see how much the amount is. So it's just 574. I'm increasing the quantity again, like 10 quantity of the product. Okay, now it's 2870, which is uh, above the limit which we provided. So I'm going to confirm the order. Okay, so here you can see the state have changed to to approve. So if you don't enable this, what happens is that it will directly go to purchase order. So as we've given a limit and it exceeds the limit, only after the manager approving it, we can confirm it to a purchase order. So it's currently in to approve. Now let's uh, remember the purchase order reference number, which is 47. Okay, and I'm logging out as uh, John Doe. And let's log in as the admin, which is Michelle admin. Click on login here. And after entering into that, let's open the purchase module here. Okay, purchase module. And here you can see uh, the one which we created as John Doe. So the reference number is 47. And here you have the status is as to approve. So let's open it. And Michelle admin is the administrator. So he can approve it and then uh, you can confirm it to a purchase order. So I'm approving the order. So that's the button which is active there, approve order. So you can approve the order and now you can see it has changed the state to purchase order. 
So this is basically how you confirm the uh, purchase order where you have set a limit. That is the purchase order approval. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.